Hi everyone, about a year ago or so I did a video or a couple of videos on how to measure voltage into Arduino. I'm hoping to improve on that and uh, use the better knowledge that I have now, use the better resources I have now to, um, to of course improve on the video. So I'm redoing this one. How to measure voltage into Arduino. To start with, why would you want to measure voltage into Arduino? Well, there are lots of different reasons. Um, I mean, you might have an LDR, a light dependent resistor, or you might have a sensor or, or something like that, which, um, which senses something from the environment and it's a source of input uh, to the Arduino so that you can do something. Um, I mean, there's lots of different reasons for why you'd want to read a, read a voltage into Arduino. Maybe you want to uh, read a voltage of uh, a cell or something on into Arduino, or maybe maybe you want to do it for some diagnostics or safety checking or whatever. Maybe you want to uh, read a voltage from somewhere in a circuit to be sure that it's working or to be able to use the voltage to be able to aid in decision making or whatever. Um, there's lots of different reasons why you'd want to measure voltage into Arduino. But, um, yeah, I suppose we need to get started with that. So, with the Arduino, it has a 5 volt ADC, or this, this one in particular does anyway. You can actually get 3 volt uh, or 3.3 volt ADCs too. Generally speaking, uh, I work with the 5 volt ones. So, um, why am I talking about ADCs? So an ADC is an analog to digital converter and basically it gets an analog voltage and um, reads it into the chip and it converts it into digital of course because these chips are digital only they don't understand analog yeah so we get an analog voltage and we, we're going to try and read it in to a digital device and that's why I said about ADCs because you need an ADC in order to do that now this gives us a uh, potential issue um, if we want to read something into an Arduino um, and you know we want it to work and not damage the Arduino we've got to do so within the limits of the ADC of the Arduino and like I said this is a 5 volt Arduino with a 5 volt ADC so what it means is basically there are two avenues, if you like, that we could go down in order to make this thing work successfully. Uh, what it boils down to is the voltage of the analog device which you are uh, outputting from, um, and it kind of goes like this. So, is the voltage less than 5 volts? And if the voltage is less than 5 volts from the device, so for example, if it is one of these lithium ion cells, which is a 4.25 volt device, uh, well, it's not really a device, but 4.25 volts maximum, then it is less than 5 volts. Or if you, or say you wanted to measure the voltage of a car battery, that's 12 volts, and that's of course not true in this circumstance. But anyway, is the voltage less than 5 volts? If it is, yes. If it's not, then no. If it is, then you basically just connect the uh, anode of whatever it is you want to, uh, you know, input into this thing to the um, Arduino analog pin, so A0, for example. So if yes, uh, then connect, connect to an analog pin. What about if no? So if the thing is not less than 5 volts, then what? Well, if it's like a car battery, like I just said, then we've got a bit of a problem. You can't feed uh, 12 volts into the Arduino um, analog pins because they will ruin the Arduino. So what we have to do is use something called a voltage divider. So voltage divider. And then after the voltage divider, then uh, we basically we can go there connect to an analog pin and then the thing will work so what I'm going to do is do two videos um, on this part one which is this part is going to be uh, this section here the less than 5 volt section and in the second video I'll do the voltage divider section so anyway uh, let's get started with part one
Right, so to start with, I've got my Arduino, and I've got a lithium-ion cell. With lithium-ion cells, they have a maximum voltage of 4.25 volts, and therefore, they can't go over the 5 volt uh, ADC limit of the Arduino. And that's good. It means that I don't have to use a voltage divider. I can pretty much connect it directly to an analog pin on the Arduino. So that's good news. So what I'll need to start with is connect the grounds together. And what I could do now is connect the anode straight to the A0 pin of the Arduino. But I'm not going to do that. Optionally, what you can use is you can use a resistor and you can connect the, um, the battery or the cell to the Arduino or actually this could be your circuit for all I care I mean it, it's whatever you want it to be the small voltage less than 5 volts you could connect it there but I'm going to connect it via the resistor and the reason I connect it via the 10k resistor let me just push that in there is because um, the 10k resistor serves as a protection to the Arduino it basically limits the amount of uh, current which can potentially flow from the circuit or the cell in this case to the Arduino pin. What can happen is that if you don't limit the current um, you can actually draw current from the cell into the chip via its analog inputs and that's not really a good idea. So if you can use the resistor but it's not the end of the world if you don't. So I'm going to plug that in there. So the anode goes to the resistor from the resistor it goes to the A0 pin and then from here it finishes the circuit back to ground or the uh, cathode. So if you just assume that that's your circuit, the voltage that I want to test, I've just pretty much um, plugged that into A0 and I've connected the ground together. So what do we do now? Um, first of all what I'll do is I'll go over to the computer and write some code. Okay, so the code for this is surprisingly easy. First thing we need to do is define a pin. So define cell pin, and that's going to be A0. And that's because we plug the uh, cell uh, wire or probe or whatever you want to call it into A0 of the Arduino. Next thing we want to do is serial begin. So serial begin 115200. That's just the board rate which I use. And the next thing we want to do is um, is output the amount of counts to the serial monitor. Uh, I'll explain that in just a second. So serial dot print print learn open close parenthesis. Then in here analog read open close parenthesis cell pin control T control S and control U. So this should uh, upload to the Arduino now, of course, all being well. Um, so, yeah, what exactly are we doing? Here we are reading in the amount of counts, and um, we're basically just outputting that to the serial monitor. So what's all this about counts? Uh, we're trying to read the voltage in, not counts. So the ADC will output a number from 1, sorry, from 0 to 1,023, uh, depending on or representing the amount of voltage which is read into the ADC. Anyway, it's done uploading now, so let's see what it comes up with. And it comes up with 823 or something like that. So 823 counts out of 1023. Um, right, okay, so let's move on. Okay, so this number at the minute isn't particularly useful. But let's make it useful. Let's get rid of this thing. And we need to add some variables. So we need, I'd say we'll have three variables. First thing we'll do is we'll have float and counts. That's going to store the amount of counts. Then we'll have float um, millivolts. And that's going to store the amount of millivolts or volts which is being read into the Arduino. Um, and now what should we do next? I suppose over here. So, uh, analog read cell pin that will be counts so counts equals that which is of course counts so control T control S so currently there'll be no change to the actual program you know if I was to go to the serial console let's carry on then so well to start with that can be 
I can go there then we need to fill in this millivolts thing so millivolts equals the amount of counts multiplied by something now this is the thing I'm just gonna get a calculator up and I'll try and explain how this works we'll need to change this again uh, in in a bit in a couple of minutes but I'll just show you for now so like I said before the 5 volt range of the ADC is split into 1024 pieces by the ADC so if I get 5 volts and divide it by 1024 you can see that each piece represents uh, 0.00488 volts or you could say 4.88 millivolts so I'll just close that off there and we'll have another variable here um, let's say const uh, float um, I don't know what can we say millivolts per count millivolt count something like that that equals 4.88 because there are 4.88 millivolts per count which this thing returns so if we go back over here millivolts equals counts multiplied by the amount of millivolts per count that's pretty easy oops control T control S and then of course we want to change this again just noticed I've made a bit of a mistake there that should just be counts and it'll be it'll have to be uh, casted with a string I would imagine so then here this is the same string millivolts so oh, there's also one more thing we'll need we'll need a delay so a delay otherwise we won't be able to read it it will go so fast let's attempt to upload it and, and see what it does it should work fine so now when we look at the serial monitor it should read in the voltage but at the moment it might not be perfectly accurate but I'll explain why in a second when this thing's uploaded okay it, it's done uploaded now so let's do uh, control shift and M and let's see what it comes up with okay it's saying that the voltage is 4.02 volts uh, so 4 volts that's what this thing is saying so the chances are that is not entirely accurate so what I need to do now is go over to the um, to the Arduino get my multimeter test the voltage of the cell and then let's see you know let's see how close we are right so we're back over here and the Arduino is saying that the voltage of the cell is 4 volts now I don't think it is 4 volts I think it's likely to be less than 4 volts but let's see what the multimeter has to say so I'll just move that over and let's see what's going on here right let's do it this way and it is 3.74 volts so what's happened there well I think what has happened is that the uh, reference of the ADC is not actually 5 volts so do you know when I said when I got the calculator up and I kept it simple and I said uh, 5 volts divided by 1024 is this per count well if the reference of the ADC is not 5 volts then that's not going to work uh, accurately so the reference should be around 5 volts but in this case I bet it's not so let's find out what it actually is to do that if I hold the ground on any ground and I hold the other on the 5 volt we'll see what the voltage of the Arduino is okay the voltage of the Arduino is 4.65 volts 4.65 volts so we need to recalculate the um, the calculations or the formulas or, and whatever to be based off an ADC of 4.65 volts so I'll just turn this off and then go back over to the computer and let's see what happens okay so let me just get the calculator up again so our ADC reference is not 5 volts it's 4.65 and it's actually very common for the ADC references to be not uh, bang on 5 volts. It's very, very common. 
and the references can actually change as well um, unfortunately uh, they, they usually don't but they can anyway so 4.65 divided by 1024 equals um, 4.54 millivolts so 4.54 millivolts so if I just change this 4.54 millivolts and control T control S and control U this thing should work now and it should be very very accurate let's see okay it's done uploading so if I do control shift and M to get the console up what we should see is that the voltage will be reading 3.73 or whatever it was and you can see here 3700 uh, millivolts so 3.7 volts or 3.73 volts that's extremely accurate and um, and that's how to do it and you can see over here that the voltage is 1570 millivolts which is pretty much spot on so this is how to measure voltage into the Arduino that is less than 5 volts so if your voltage is more than 5 volts like I said at the very start of this video there's an additional step and the additional step is uh, called a voltage divider and I'll discuss voltage dividers in the next video thanks for watching bye